Marty Martinez holds back tears talking about the moment he thought he was going to die. I thought that those were my last few moments on Earth. And then about 20, 30 minutes into the flight, um, we hear a loud explosion. Uh, a few moments later, all of the oxygen masks deployed. And as you could imagine, panic ensued. So he did what many of us would do these days. He started to record what was happening. How and who would you decide to tell your last words to? So immediately I thought, how can I reach people in mass? And I knew that if I went to Facebook, I knew that my friends keep up with me on Facebook. In the midst of the chaos, Martinez quickly purchased access to the plane's Wi-Fi for $8. I cared about just being able to communicate and tell, you know, my, my parents, my mom, my brother, my sisters, um, you know, and my friends and family back home that, you know, that I love them. The 29-year-old marketing executive was sitting just a few rows behind Jennifer Reardon, the passenger who lost her life. To think that that could have been any one of us. My heart just goes out to um, the woman who had lost her life and her family. Like, you know, I'd, I, I just feel terrible, but at the same time, I feel so lucky. Dramatic images of Marty Martinez and the other passengers wearing oxygen masks have gone worldwide. Notice how the masks are improperly applied. They cover mouths, but not noses. That's a big no-no. Dante Harris, the president right. of the Association of Flight Attendants, the showed our Jim Murray the correct way to use the mask. The so first thing, extend the tube, okay, mm -hmm. then... Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Okay. Nose and mouth. Okay. Make sure that you tighten the straps if necessary. Okay. And although that bag does not inflate, oxygen is still flowing into the mask. So if I had just have it over my mouth, I could still pass out. You could, absolutely. The oxygen lasts for 12 minutes which gives the pilot enough time to get to 10,000 feet where you can breathe normally. I feel like I'm walking away with just this newfound perspective on life. NTSB investigators say they have found signs of metal fatigue where the engine fan blade broke off and flew into the plane's window.